It turns out that bees are responsible for producing 900 billion almonds each year. That's right, without bees, there would be no almonds. Now, that means no almond snacks and desserts, which is devastating to even think about. In today's video, we will learn about harvesting and production of almonds and if almond production is decreasing because bees are in danger. There are some interesting facts for which you will have to stick till the very end. So so without further ado, let's begin. Almonds are one of the best and most famous nuts in the world, with over 2 million acres dedicated to almond production in California alone. Which means in the year 2021 to 2022, US have produced 1,322.22 thousand metric tons, which accounts for 80% of the worldwide production of almonds. Almonds are also primarily grown in the United States and certain Middle Eastern countries. Ah, almonds. The nut has been around since the dawn of time and is still as popular today as it ever was. But what does it take to grow these delicious little morsels? Well, let me tell you. It's a process. The planting of almond trees starts in mid-February when the seedling develops. From there, it takes four years for the tree to reach maturity and prepare for its first harvest. During this period, an irrigation system must be regularly operated in order to ensure proper growth and development of the tree. These water-intensive plants really need it. Once mature, almond trees have a lifespan of 25 to 28 years before they need to be replaced with new ones. This means that farmers can enjoy multiple harvests over their lifetime if they are diligent about caring for their trees properly. But one thing to take into account is that after the 20th year, the yield starts to fall. Almond trees require pollination from honeybees for their flowers to develop into fruit-bearing almonds. In fact, it takes about two bee visits per flower for successful pollination. That's why almond farmers rely on commercial beekeepers who bring thousands of hives full of honeybees onto their farms during the bloom season, February through April. Without these hardworking little insects, there wouldn't be any almonds. Now, if we see the process of a new harvest, it is quite similar to that of olive or cherry orchids. Via machines, the trees are shaken until fruits fall to the ground. Then, the whole almond stock is loaded onto a truck using another machine. In some Middle Eastern countries, the almonds are dried in the sun for about a week after falling to the ground before being harvested. After harvesting, hundreds of tons of almonds are transported to the factory for processing and packaging. Asbadam, founded in December 2016, owns the most extensive almond orchards in the Azerbaijan and is the biggest producer of almonds in this area, around 427 hectares. Their planted varieties include Avijor, Bellona, Soleta, and Quara, with harvest season from August to September. Some serious steps are being taken by Asbadam and other producers around the world to help protect bee populations by not using pesticides and ensure continued production. At Asbadam, they use green almond shells in cattle breeding and for coal production instead of throwing them away or letting them go to waste. This helps reduce the amount of waste produced while also providing an additional source of income for farmers who can sell the shells as fuel or animal feed. After initial sorting and cleaning, humidified almonds are cracked to obtain the kernel, which is dried and sorted by size. Yeah. 
All almonds are then sent to get checked in the laboratory according to relevant international standards before being processed at their plant, which has an annual capacity of 2,000 tons. That's a wrap up for today. Hopefully you enjoyed watching the video. Also, remember to check out our other videos. Like and subscribe. See you next time. Till then, peace out.